everyone, it's Tang here, and in this video, I will share to you my review on what Joomla is and how you can make money with it, okay? So, uh, Joomla is a CPA company, and CPA stands for Cost Per Actions. Uh, basically, it means that if, if you grab your affiliate link and then you send visitor into it, and if a person sign up into your link and uh, then you will get paid you will get paid commission it's really simple as that so uh, let me flip my screen and you can see it better and here my commission section okay I will click on that for you to know that it's not a screenshot this is my dashboard and if this person sign up from Great Britain from the UK I would earn four dollars in commission from the US I also earn four dollars and from the um, other countries I will earn only two dollars so it's based on the country uh, there are five countries in top tier one and I will earn four dollars four dollars uh, great the UK the US uh, New Zealand, Canada, and Australia. Those are five countries. And if I go back to my home page dashboard, um, you know what? In only two weeks, and I earn eleven and sixteen dollars in commission. Uh, this is really amazing. And um, when I go into any make, make, making money online program, I need to find out if they are legit or not for not wasting my time right so when I go deep into it and become a VIP member and I got into the Facebook group and you can see uh, Jula VIP digital lifestyle company and um, they provide really good support and especially the founder here uh, he provide a really amazing support that I fall in love with it and if I, I go to the photo section here, um, you can see that people post their uh, questions or questions or uh, they post their experience and what I am interested in the most is this thing. So you can see that Reno uh, sent you three fifty six dollars and commission payout for Jula from uh, earning up to 30 April 2017 or the other one would be one one two dollars and commission payout for Jula approved earnings so you can see that this is my pendings um, earnings it's not in approved yet and today is uh, you can see that it is um, the 10th of June so they will approve in uh, let me remember in the 15 15 okay at um, the mid in the middle of the month and uh, they will approve the earning and then they will send out the earning so that is how Joomla work it is that simple you can click on the link on the description below and go and create your account and activate it and then you go through the training and then you can have your affiliate affiliate link and after that you can go and have people sign up in your links and after after that you can earn commissions as well it's really simple that's how i can earn up to 1k after two weeks and it's really simple uh, okay so how you can make money with it because this is a really easy cpa offer so just by posting post on uh, facebook groups or on twitter um, or on instagram that you can easily make a lot of money with this i believe so if you really want to make money right now even if you don't have so much experience in online marketing you can click the link on the description below and follow the trainings from Joomla follow the emails that I sent you as well it's really easy to follow and I also provide some uh, traffic part for you so that you do not do not have to be overwhelmed and you can make money right away okay so thank you for watching I hope this video helpful and you can make more money for yourself thank you and bye bye G'day everyone. Uh, so we are getting quite a few questions, um, uh, quite a few of the same questions from um, a number of you guys. Um, so the first thing that I wanted to show you is the balance inside your Joomla 
um, Foundation CPA affiliate panel, you can see the balance here of, um, for example, in this um, account, uh, $1,188, right? And approved commissions and $416 in pending commissions. Now, this is not the total amount of commissions. This is the total amount of commissions that you've generated in the last 30 days only, as you can see here. So this number might go down or it might go up. It fluctuates because it's based on the last 30 days only. So it completely depends on how many commissions you've generated in the last 30 days. So that's not the total balance. Uh, only for the last 30 days. So tomorrow this might say $1,000.88, for example, depending on how many commissions this particular affiliate has um, generated. So that balance will always change, and that's not the complete full pending and approved balance. Now, to, watch, uh, to um, review the complete balance and commissions, you can go into the Commissions tab, and you can select, uh, you can select what country, uh, and you can select what date as well, the last 30 days or the last or this week, last week. And that's where you can see all the commissions and referrals inside your um, affiliate panel. So all the, uh, the complete balance of the approved commissions, the paid commissions and everything in the commission step. So not this one. This is only for the last 30 days. Now, and something else, we're getting a number of questions from you guys saying that the confirmation email is not being delivered to people signing up. Now, this is um, what could happen. So if, for example, I'm just going to copy this affiliate link of this particular affiliate. Let me just copy it and let me put it in the browser. Here we go. Now, first of all, make sure that you use the complete affiliate link, right? Um, we've had a number of affiliates that may have skipped a number, like may have copied the affiliate link without the last uh, uh, digit, uh, and then it might not track. There's a big possibility that it won't track. It needs to be that complete link. So you just go right click on it and copy the link complete link and then you can always test as well again i've explained this in another tutorial as well if you're using a um, a url shortener or a uh, a link cloaker that might sometimes lose your affiliate id so just make sure when you click on your affiliate link like this one for example so you click on your affiliate link and you get to the Yunla account creation page just make sure that it has that aid codes your referral id at the end of the link <clears throat> So just make sure, because uh, uh, on this page is where the um, click will be tracked and linked to your affiliate ID. So I'm just going to do a test sign up. And let me just make that my full name. And so I've signed up. I went through the affiliate link from this particular affiliate. And I'm going to create my account, step one. And then it says step two, activate your membership. So now your subscriber will instantly receive the, well, not instantly, it might take up to 20 or 30 seconds, um, will receive the um, activation email where they will need to confirm their membership and click the link or the button in that link, uh, in that email to confirm their membership and then create their password on the next page. Uh, and then they'll be able to log into the members area and that will generate a referral commission. So it's kind of like a verified opt-in, right? So um, they received that email within about 20, sometimes maybe 10 seconds, sometimes maybe, maybe 30 seconds, but not longer. It can't be any longer unless they've already signed up previously because then they've already signed up and then they won't receive um, the confirmation email again, of course. Um, so I'm just going to go into my Gmail inbox and I'm just going to refresh that. And here's the email already, 927. Um, so I'm just going to click on that. So then they click on that activate my account or on that link. And then on the next page, they will insert their email and password to activate their account. And that will lock them in straight away, right? So I ring up above and test at gmail.com. And let me just select the password. and then click activate your account and that will generate the referral commission for you. So on that first page, oh, let me just pause this video. So, and then they'll have access to the, um, to the Yunla Foundation membership area right away as well. Now, if for example, um, let me just go back one step. So a number of reasons, well, pretty much the only reason why uh, a confirmation email could not be delivered or two reasons, um, first of all, there could be an error in the email address. So for example, in this test email address, Reno VB test, if that's my email address, then I might skip out the T 
for example, then it's not going to be delivered, right? So this is quite common. It, it doesn't happen very often, but if an email is not being delivered, it's most likely because someone would have uh, made a grammatical error in the email address. Or for example, they might have um, entered gmail.com instead of the M, or they might have forgotten the M um, in gmail.com, for example. So that's possible, a grammatical error when they um, insert their email address, because then of course the email is not going to be sent to the full email address, to the correct email address. Um, so that's one reason. Also, if they've already signed up, like I said previously, if they've already signed up um, and they enter in the details again, they won't receive the confirmation email again um, because they've already signed up. So they can't confirm um, the account again because it's already been confirmed, right? So that's the reason. Uh, that's the, the main sort of reasons what could go wrong and why an email is not delivered. Now, we've tested the email delivery as well in Gmail and Yahoo and AOL and those emails won't even get spam blocked so they go straight into the normal inbox uh, not into the promotional folder either like sometimes some emails may go into the promotional folder um, which you can sort of see here um, so it goes into the primary folder of the email programs they don't get spam blocked by yahoo aol and gmail um, so because it's a pretty simple email to just asking them to confirm so that's one thing and then um the the commission so some people say like oh the commission is not being registered um and or the lead is not being registered so i've just done a test sign up through an affiliate link um it takes about 30 minutes to show the transaction uh, usually 20 minutes uh, sometimes 30 minutes to show the transaction so i'm just going to pause this video and i'm going to unpause it when that transaction is registered so i'll talk to you soon all right, so it's a little bit later now, and I just wanted to show you that when I did that test sign up, it is showing up in the commissions as well for this particular affiliate. So if I go to commissions and refresh the page, oh, it's actually already there, I can see. Um, so I'm doing a test sign up from New Zealand, and you can see that that referral is being registered as pending. Um, $4 for the foundation phase one. So that's the test sign up that I did before. Now also when this uh, particular, um, so for this test sign up for example, so I've already logged in, right? Like I just activated my account and I've logged in. Now, if this particular, in this test scenario, I'm going to claim my free custom setup and become a Unlife VIP member. So I'm going through the custom setup instructions uh, and I complete all those three, uh, both both step one, step two, and step three to claim my custom setup. And then within 24 hours, we will activate their account and they'll become a VIP member. Now this will then be linked to your um, to your affiliate link as well. And you'll, you will be the parent affiliate of this particular um, uh, VIP member and you will earn the $15 commission. So I'm going to do a test sign up for that as well. And so that you can show that that is working as well. Because um, straight away on this page is where the parent affiliate ID will be tracked straight away so um, that will be linked then that test sign up will be linked to you straight away to your affiliate account and when that referral upgrades their account to become a uh, Unilife VIP member that will earn you the $15 commissions uh, in the front end in the first tier and then the $10 commissions in the second tier as well so let me just do a test sign up I'm going to activate this particular referral the test referral that I've just done I'm going to activate their affiliate uh, their VIP status their VIP membership so that it will show up as a commission for that as well so I'm just going to do that in the admin panel and pause this video and I'll be right back all right so I've gone ahead and activated that test affiliate and upgraded their um, affiliate and member status to a Unlife VIP and as you can see that commission is being registered for this particular affiliate as well from the test that I've done $15 now that affiliate that you refer to that have become uh, that has become a VIP member when they go on and refer other VIP members you will see you will start seeing the $10 referrals um, in here as well so let me just go into the VIP referrals and bonuses where you can see the VIP referrals downline so this affiliate has um, so here it is you can see Reno from Bowfin. So that's the test sign up I did, Reno from uh, Reno VB test at gmail.com. So it's in my referral, VIP referral, referral downline. Now, when this affiliate, well, this is a test affiliate, of course, but for example, these other affiliates that are VIP members, when they start referring other people to uh, become VIP members as well, they will show up as sub affiliates and you will earn those $10 commissions, such as, such as with this one, for example. So this affiliate has generated three sub affiliates. So this particular affiliate in this 
test in this in this account would have earned three times ten dollar commissions as well for those um, sub affiliates plus the fifteen dollar in the in the first tier as well. So that's all working. It's all tracking. Now the only reason, um, the main reason why a referral could not be tracked, and this doesn't happen very often, but of course it's possible, is when someone will go through your affiliate link then clear their cookies before they activate their account now that's very unlikely of course because usually people sign up they follow the instructions and they activate their account right away to get access straight away um, but if they in the meantime go and clear their cookies then uh, it might not be tracked although we do track via um, um, cook several different cookies like flash cookies um, IP address so we have a number of different ways we um, track uh, and the, the referrals and the commissions for you. So um, it's very unlikely that it's going to be uh, deleted, but that is possible if they um, clear their cookies. Although our system will still try to track via IP as well. Now, for example, if someone signs up, they go through your affiliate link and they sign up on your on their um, mobile device, for example, or an iPad, and they confirm later on a different device on a computer, then it might not be tracked. So it needs to be sort of tracked, it needs to be activated straight away on that same device. Um, although we do track via IP as well, so if they use their, um, if they sign up on their mobile, for example, um, at home on a home network, and, um, and then they activate their account, um, so what I did, what I did here, they activate their account on a on a computer, but they're still on that same home network. Then we still will be able to track it via the IP address as well, um, plus the flash cookie on the device, of course. But if they change their um, if they change their IP address as well, then it won't be tracked. Um, then the cookie will be lost. So, but usually people sign up, of course, and then they complete these instructions straight away. Um, but that's the, there's the small chance that that could happen. Um, but we have a number of ways that we track. So via flash cook, uh, flash cookie, a normal cookie, browser cookies, um, IP. There's there's a number of ways we can track a referral. So those are the reasons why not be tracked. Um, but that's a very small chance. So it is all working. I know a number of you ask these questions. Oh, it's not tracking or the uh, confirmation email is not being delivered. So I hope this email, uh, sorry, I hope this um, video explains exactly what's going on. Because quite often, most of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's on the user's end um, and they make like a grammatical error in the user registration. So everything else is tracked from the moment they go through your affiliate link and they land here, it's tracked. So the, the parent, um, the VIP referrals are tracked straight away from that as well and a cookie lasts for 365 days so a year we are tracking for you so big chances to um, to earn commissions later down the track as well all right hey thanks for watching and have a great weekend cheers